Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a technical product manager at Synopsys, and today we'll be showcasing our, P our PCIe 7 over cable. So in this box, we have our PCIe 7 evaluation kit. We have our transmitter uh, going out into the Samtex fixture, which is then going back into our receiver. Uh, this is the Samtech Nova Ray cable, as well as the Nova Tech uh, Nova Ray IO, and we are using a one meter uh, cable. And we're showing this demonstration to show that uh, we interoperate with any vendor, and that this could be used for any application, such as data center and AML. In this top screen, you can actually see the performance of our, our receiver, and we're showing around uh, one e to the minus eight which is well above what the spec requires. So in this setup, we um, have the Keysight pattern generator outputting a signal into this ISI board right here, which is then being connected back into our receiver, into our file. Our loss is up what the spec requires, which is the 36 dB. And then that's being internally uh, looped back out to the transmitter, which is then being outputted into the Keysight analyzer. And what the analyzer can do now is it can measure the BER. So again, with our 36 dB uh, channel, we are showing around uh, one to the E minus nine, which is uh, well above what the spec requires. At the same time, we have an external loopback which has our transmitter connected back into our receiver in our board. And here in this uh, user interface, uh, we can see that we have a very good eye. Um, and again, the BR is well above what the spec requires of one e to the minus six. So in this purple box, we have our PCA7 evaluation board which is then outputting a signal into our scope, uh, Teledan and LaCroix scope. In our top pulse response is our Q0 pulse response, and the bottom shows the Q1 pulse response. What the software is doing is basically it's comparing Q0 to Q1, and we can see that for Q1, with the expectation of 1.6 dB for the pre-shoot, we are showing 1.77, which is what the spec requires. And today we will be showcasing our PCI6.x subsystem test chip. In this diagram here, we will be showing what is going on in this test chip. So we have a by 8 controller, which is then connected to a PCS, also by 8, which is then connected to two by 4 phis, uh, which is then finally connected into our external uh, transmitter and uh, external loopback. What this offers the customer is uh, ease of integration for any application since everything is already combined and it'll also improve the time to market. So in this purple box, we have our PHY as explained earlier and we have our cables connected into the Tektronix scope. Here is where our Tektronix scope is uh, showing us that it's receiving all of this uh, data. So right now we have a compliance pattern outputted um, and uh, as you can see, our eyes look very linear. Our SNDR measurements are well above the spec. And on the right pr plot, you can see that we have our pulse response. It's very clean with nothing uh, for the remaining of the response. We also have our external loopback, which is outputting a PRBS pattern, which is then going into our ISI board, which is then going back into our receiver. Our pad to pad loss is a 33 dB as uh, in the spec. So our GUI here is showing everything that the receiver is viewing. So we have our ADCI as well as the BER measurement. As you can see, we are well above what the spec requires of one e to the minus six. Hi, we are here at the Enritsu booth uh, where we will be showcasing our PCIe6.x uh, electrical performance. So, in this purple box, uh, we have our PCIe6 evaluation board, 
and we have Enritsu's transmitter coming out through the ISI board which is then going back into our receiver which is then being uh, internally looped back into the uh, transmitter which is then being fed back into the Enritsu analyzer. So now we have a full loopback and the Enritsu uh, graphic user interface can show us what is going on uh, uh, with our PHY. So in our Enritsu uh, graphic user interface, we can see very clearly that for our PAM4, uh, we are showing almost error free. Uh, and that is very impressive considering that the spec is uh, one e to the minus six.